A flight attendant kicks a passenger off the plane for this. Please take a look at this. Because you having a bad day? I'm not having a bad day. I told you that these seats, you have to pay for these. Yeah, I know, but you was, but you was right here in front of me. I was trying to get back. I was giving you a hard time. I was never giving you a hard no, time. No, but you raised your voice. You, but you raised your voice to him. And you asked for your seat. You asked for your seat. Things and deep Wait. This is really not even necessary. Wow. Like, I know, I know, I know. We're supposed to be black people. I know. Why are you causing me problems? Why did you call me problems? No one causing problems. Problem. Like you having a bad day? You having a bad day? We came at you respectively and everything. I could have got, I could have had an attitude with you and everything. Only disrespecting me. How I disrespect you? Disrespecting me. Because you was in, because you was right in front of me from my seat. With you in the air, I really don't. I don't feel comfortable with you in the air. All right. Yeah. Is this correct? Very good. Thank That's you. That's all I needed. I know. I know. You sure you don't need to talk? One more. Need to get in here. What's going on right here? I don't know. What's going on? Are you sure? Okay, can you just get your seat real quick? I'll wait on the move. Excuse me. Are you sure? Um, they had a serious when I get up, bro. They said you're refusing to move. Unfortunately, you do have to follow FAA policy. Here to here. Yes, but there are. Un hey, sir, no she told me to sit here and show her my, my where, I'm, where I'm supposed to sit. Un unfortunately, yeah, the crew has made their decision. Seat, we do have to book you on the next available flight, sir. When would that be? Uh, I'd have to look. We'd have to go up there. Can I find out before I get off of this one? Because no, I'm sorry. definitely about to miss out on some money. Uh, because uh, unfortunately, if you, if you don't want to get off, we'll have to deplane everybody on this one, and we'll do it that way. At the end of the day. For a passenger to avoid being kicked off a plane, all you got to do is get on your plane, put on your seatbelt, and keep your mouth shut. Stop arguing with those flight attendants. It's not that hard. Parking lot rage at a Morgan Wallen concert. Please take a look at this drama. Other spot line. Damn, it ain't even Illinois that serious. Oh. Look, she's look, cut her off, cut her off. They're, They're laughing. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Entertaining. I don't know about you, but stuff or instances like this are the reason why I Uber to events. I cannot take concert traffic. What about you? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this clip of a customer disrespecting a fast food restaurant employee. Take a look at this. Marley. 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 And they are L-E-Y. Is it M-A-R-L-E-Y? Yes. Got it. Yep. 
What do you saw? Why is writing Yelp? When someone Bye. in the restaurant's Bye. eating, you give them their food first, not to the DoorDash. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye. You too, Reggie. Yup. Yeah. Being f***ing rude. Rude your customers. That's why you can't get nothing right in the restaurant. Um, you're cute arguing with a high schooler. Oh, well, that's cool. You're a high schooler. Yep. Shows that shows yep. your meaner. Yep. So, the policy to Karen is when a Karen is eating in a restaurant, you give her a food first before giving it to the door dasher. Wow. Do you think this employee at Wonderland in Canada lost his mind or he was simply doing his job? Please take a look at this drama. I don't think the employee was losing his mind. I think he did a great job. He was just sticking up for someone. But on the other hand, the woman was being a Karen though. Let's be for real. Please take your time to watch this clip of a female officer who is allegedly tripping. Watch till the end. And let me know in the comment section if actually she's tripping. Take a look. You're all, that suspicion isn't a crime. We're in, we're in full uniform, Miss Lady. We're not doing nothing wrong. What, what do you mean, Miss Lady? She is uniform? not in full uniform. She has it on her phone. So her... what? I could get anything on my phone. She has her badge, her name. I don't care. She should have her badge around her neck. Give me oh, oh, name. Oh. Okay, okay. And Let me ask appointment. you this. Let me ask you this. Can I get a supervisor? I call, if, I, if I call. Can I dig in my pocket to grab my phone? Sure. You can get your supervisor. As, okay. Anyway. No, I want your supervisor. Oh, I don't. Well, can you call one? I don't have one on duty. What are you right now? Be blasty. All right. Give me. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. You gonna get what you gotta get coming. Seven seven two. Can I have your name on? Make sure you tell me the right thing. We ain't doing nothing wrong. I know you're not. I'm, I know you. I know you ain't doing nothing wrong, right? I'm not saying you're doing it. Any... Right. You can cancel that. I didn't say you were doing anything wrong, but I want you hey. to identify yourself because you're going in and out okay. of all these buildings. Will, That's I'll, all I asked for, okay. right? Huh. Grandma. And then he's not in any of you. Hold on. She has no badge. She has a badge. Where's the badge? 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 Where's the bad
Let's go. I want to go to jail. Because I'm looking. I, I want a badge. I'm, I'm, put me in handcuffs. Let's go. I want a badge. I'm not breaking any law, Miss Lady. I I'm saying, I'm a, I'm a, I, I, you have to be trespassing to do You're a trespassing. trespassing. It's private property. It's private property. You have to be trespassing. Trespass. You, have to be trespass. Trespass. you have to be trespass. You the cop. You, you know the law. You are trespassing. It's private property. We're not trespassing. You have to be you trespass. Are... Okay, so can we leave? No, we stay. Okay, we can stay. We can stay. So she's, are we, are we being detained? Two seven seven two to two seven seven. So we are being detained. Are we being detained? I just want your so identification. We're being okay. Are we being suspicious. detained? Give me your badges. If you can certainly yeah. show a badge to anybody you here, you're being hostile. We have a civil are. service. All I did man. was ask you for your okay. identification. So How am I being hostile? Oh, I asked you. Did I? Did I ask you for your? you just you protect and serve me. Can you guess what? You are a civil servant. Give me your Can you please identification of where you people yes, work. Yes, I it. will give you my identification. I, I yes. the will you? Asked you? Okay, but That's before the law for. states, in order for me to identify to a police officer in the state of Pennsylvania, you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, have committed no, a crime. No, no, no. Yeah. As long as there's a suspicion. As long as there is a complaint, I have to get to the bottom of the okay, complaint. But correct? Lady, you don't so have, I don't know if anything is we going have an on. Appointment. I don't we came here for appointments. I, I don't know that. We're telling you. I you came out, you came you out here. Where, 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 we don't have to give you over there. We don't have to give you over there. All I asked you for was your identification you're not and who you work for. That's all I asked for. Miss Lady, and I and I will give you Would you like my lawyer's number? I stand on law, though. Would you like my number? My lawyer's number? We can give you our supervisor. Is that what you like? You can contact our supervisor. It sounds like that was doing. who you work for. That's all I'm asking you My name is Jeffrey Geist. I am not speaking to you. Wow. I think this female officer needs to chill. She needs to calm down in order to de-escalate the situation. Keep watching. I'm talking I'm to you. I'm speaking to you. Why are you looking Why at you? Why are you being so hostile, Miss Lady? Don't on my face. You want to get, you get mad at me? We recorded You want to get mad at me because if you get mad at me, you want to Give me your identification. Who you work for? Man, I don't ask them. Me too. Don't anybody worry about you. You're a police caller, bro. Yes, we do have badges, lady. Look who we are wearing. Don't pull it out. We're working. Does she have that on? So, Miss Lady. Miss Sir. Mr. Sir. That's all right. Sir. Sorry. Y'all go out with the camera crew. Where the camera crew at? We don't have it over there. Okay. She does not have. How about this? Until your supervisor get here, I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment. Now, if you want to arrest me, you can do that. I'm sorry you have to go like this. But for a man that's protecting his rights, you want me to. Okay. No. To plead the Fifth because I have not committed a crime. I only answer when I commit a crime, Miss Lady. I have, I have not committed a crime. All I'm asking you for is your ID. But I will okay. have to give that if I commit a crime. You so you start arresting people. She's saying that What's this she saying? girl is in her building okay. and they're soliciting PPL. Oh, soliciting that's people. Yeah. That's the complaint. Soliciting PPL. Y'all don't, don't even have PPL. You don't even have PPL. You don't even have PPL. You're a liar. You don't have PPL. You don't have to come over here. So it's us against them. You don't have to come over here. Okay. Give me your. Do you live here though? I no. don't answer questions. Saying that, about about that's what that lady said. That's all I ask. For. Okay. I work so, for IGS. My name is Jeffrey Geist. I'm asking him. Okay. Now I'll tell you this. You can call me good citizen. Give me your identification <laughs> for, for who you work with. Okay. But that's can all. I ask you why? I just to verify that you're supposed to be here. Okay. So I'm so if I have people. So if you want to verify I'm over here, you're supposed to go ask afraid? me that we was talking to. No, Kayla, really scary. I don't know. So that's so that's you. How am I scary? I mean, I guess you are, dude. All right, let's go. Let's go. When you give me my name. When she's nervous thinking that some of this here may be doing something wrong, I come and ask you guys questions, and you made it into this big thing. All you had to do was give me your name and who you were, and then I would have been on my way already. You are law enforcement. That's all that it came down to. First of all, right? I love you. Listen, stop. Let me give you some law. <laughs> well, listen, 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 no, I, just I don't have to identify to okay, you unless okay. I committed a crime. You know this, Miss Lady. I don't know if you did. You committed a crime. Okay, well, we did it. Committed a crime? Hey, hey, I just no, that lady said we committed a crime. Can I speak real quick? Crime? See, that's what I'm getting to the bottom of. Can so I I'm speak? Real I'm allowed to ask questions. Yes, you are. And we got a right to deny them. Can I speak real quick? This lady right here, I just spoke with her. You can tell her. I'll she'll tell you everything. I just talked to her about. Yeah, oh, that a supervisor? Miss Lady, uh, can I just get your name and your, your, your name? Double team, actually. Oh, damn. We, well. all come, we all come to each other's calls. Just give me your name and who you work for, please. Officer. So they're doing the survey, but they want she's doing the name. So, so, so she complained. Wait, excuse me. I'm Wow.
All this time, Karen was in the background watching the whole drama unfold. She was actually the one who called the cops. Unbelievable. Take a look at this racist Karen in Lakewood, Colorado. She thinks all Mexicans are low class and trash. Take a look. Yeah, it's true. You have a few people. You have a skin party in the pool. Trash. You can't just record me. Oh, you guys are such losers. Go back down to Denver. I live here. I live here. Nowhere where you ever came from, you low class. Bye bye with the cops. You go. If you've got injuries on fingers, I'd like to go take a look at She's crazy. She's oh arguing God. with the cops. The most current update on this whole drama is that Miss Karen was arrested, as you all might have noticed. But she didn't go to jail. She was, however, banned from that pool. That was unbelievable. Finally, for this episode. We've got a Karen in the wild. Who calls the cops on a student for this? Take a look. Ask Mrs. Toby like that. I'm not harassing no one. You are. I'm not. I can call security. You can fill out the form just like everybody else does. Okay, I mean, I'm just waiting to talk to someone. I'm not harassing no one, though. Sitting here until somebody's available is harassing them. That's not it harassing. It is. Would you like for me to call campus security? I mean, I will go do that. Okay. Can someone please make this make sense? How can waiting at a waiting area to be seen be labeled harassment? Wow.